Hey, good morning. Um, <clears throat> I know it's been a minute since I made a video, but um, I actually challenged myself um, to do a video when I feel like I've been feeling lately, and I'll get into that here in a minute. Um, but for right now, happy Sunday. Um, happy beautiful Sunday. It's a beautiful day so far. Um, I did just wake up. And, um, the only thing I did was wash my face, um, and adjust my eyesight a little bit. Um, and now I'm going to do my makeup lightly because it is really hot outside and I'm going to be out there for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Get ready with me. It's my very first one. Um, I really don't, uh, have a particular routine of makeup um because i don't really do makeup like i mean i wear now i wear like this maybelline product like you guys will see it um <clears throat> because i had remembered that i used to wear it like when i was younger um and I'm trying it again because I found it and yeah I'm, I'm thinking it's doing a really good job and yeah so anyway um this is gonna be my get ready with me I hope you guys enjoy it um I'll do some talking um and we'll go from there because I have some things in my mind that I want to share um so yeah we'll be back Um, so I guess I just first wanted to talk to you guys about, oh, and excuse the lighting, um, right now, like, the sun isn't completely over in my area yet, on my side of the building, so, um, it looks like this, but, you know, I could turn you guys this way, but then... You'll be to the side, and I'm, like, here doing my makeup, so. <coughs> I think I'll leave you guys right there. And just adjust the coloring later. So, yeah, um. There's that, and. I will start off by saying that. If you. take medication for your illness um, and you've gone through like withdrawals because you stopped cold turkey, you didn't, you know, get your prescription refilled fast enough and you have a few days or a week or two weeks or however long you have until you can get it again or if you're like me, you miss your appointment and have to wait um, before you can get your, your script refilled, you know, and it's like, okay, you know, I know that these withdrawal symptoms are like from not having the medication, you know, and It got so bad for me that I had to call a crisis hotline, like, a few nights ago. And I misplaced my chapstick. Like, I just had it. And I don't know where I put it. Oh, no. That sucks because I just had that chopstick and I wanted to. Okay. <laughs> um, so, like, yeah, you guys, I had to call a crisis hotline a few nights ago because the way I was feeling, it was just like intensely insane. It was too much for me. And the way it feels inside my head, like, it feels like I'm getting electric shocks. 
it feels like jolts of energy is just like surging through my head like like if you were to close your teeth together like I just did and make that noise like that's just the only physical example that I can think of um, for anyone to understand if they have never been through that feeling um, you know and it, it, it's not even just from medication it can be from anything any substance that your body gets adapted to um, and addicted to you know ultimately addicted to and I think that and my mood swings from anger to sadness back to anger so much fluctuated throughout the day that I could not contain myself alone like I needed to talk to someone like I found myself calling number that <sighs> I'm surprised I even still remember like you know what I mean and of course none of them answered you know which is in right time because obviously um that wasn't in the alignment of things to talk to any of those people that I attempted to talk to that particular night I usually just like do a really light lip gloss on the weekend um, and then just like go with that and this is um, the wet and wild lip gloss mega sticks and this is the color bronze berry I don't know if you guys can see that I'm not sure where to really put it but I'll just put it here and assume that it's in the correct position <laughs> um, if not whatever I mean you know wet and wild you know the label you know um, if it doesn't have this label or one similar to it I won't put it to my skin um, now <clears throat> a few other things with the whole withdrawal thing is like You just constantly have to battle, you know? And when you start feeling withdrawals from medication and you start noticing things about yourself that's different, that's not like healthy, you know, it's good to, you know, like reach out to someone or call a crisis hotline, you know, because that's what they're there for. Like, it's crazy because I never thought I would do that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think I'm gonna wear these today. But I don't know, like, I don't know, um, probably not. But, you know, it was like, I have never done that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've never gotten to that point mentally to where I felt like I couldn't take control over how I was feeling like you know what I mean like and the situations that I would put myself in mentally when I was going through um, these waves in my head that felt like they did and it was just every little slight sound every little movement of my head you know and it's still going on now like moving my head slightly you know it feels like whew, like, you know, like a shift of something, like, fluid-like, like, you know what I mean? Like, you can almost feel the movement of something in your head, but it feels like electricity would feel if, if that's what it was. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, if you can see it, like, say you could visualize the electricity flowing through the walls of your house when you plug something up, or just, you know, something like that. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I hope that makes sense. Like, that's how it feels in my head with these waves that I'm dealing with, these jolts of electricity, um, which makes me just sit and imagine, like, you know, is that, like, is that close to getting electric shock therapy? Is that what it's called? You know, like how, 
you know, like not wondering like, oh, how did that feel? Like, you know what I mean? Because if this is just the slight touch of that, you know, I don't know what I would do with myself if I had to experience that. Um, and some people get that for treatment, you know, and it worries me when I feel that way um, because I can't pinpoint why it's that way, you know, and I'm just assuming it's from the medication because I haven't had the medication in a couple of weeks um, due to missing my appointment and getting, assuming that I wouldn't be able to get my medication without even trying to call anyone first. Um, and then once I did, you know, I was able to, to get my prescription refilled, but coincidentally, the day I talked to a really good friend of mine about my taking medication and my view of things, I missed the delivery guy. My phone turned off. I was on the phone with a, another friend and my phone turned off while we were on the phone and I'm sure around that time that's when the delivery guy showed up because it was just around that time which is you know his normal route at that point you know like in between those few hours that my phone was off while I was at work and I just thought that was like the universe's way of telling me like hey you know you're going through withdrawals right now but you need to just detox your body you know like detox your body the natural way as much as you can and figure out what's really in your head and what's not like you know what I mean like those things that bother you that cause withdrawal symptoms you know the shaking the the involuntary movement of your limbs like you know what I mean um and that happens to me especially when I'm asleep like you know like my head will move like and I'll feel it like I'm awake but I'm asleep like you know what I mean and my leg will jerk or my arm would just like twitch you know and I'm just like and I'll just like go blow over it and at times feel like I'm under the water and I'm shaking my head and I'm literally feeling the movement of the water in and out of my ears if that makes sense like that's how it feels when I initially lay down at nighttime which makes me not want to lay down Hey Alex, I'm just doing a YouTube video right now. You come back in a little bit, and you can say hello. Okay, let me just hold up for a minute. Okay, go ahead, bro. I'm making a video right now. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, like the movements, you know, and that's how it feels when I try to lay down, which makes me not want to lay down. But all I want to do is lay down. Like, you know what I mean? Like. It's crazy because it's like, do you lay down and feel this eruption of thoughts that make you have that sensation? Or do you just sit, sit up and close your eyes and just rock? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't figure out which one of those I want to do because the feeling is still there like you know what I mean the the feeling in my head especially you guys like that's the irritability the anger the mood swings are at least a hundred times more than normal for me um, and can you, can you, ow. Are you kidding me? That was so rude of him. You can go out. Mommy. I go out. Do that hard. Go out. I'm going to do it that hard. He just was so rude to me. Like, he sees me doing this, talking, and I'm, whatever. Okay, like, he woke up in his mood today, and I told him that, hey, you know, we can go for a walk. 
we can go and get a couple of snacks from the store. You know, I am trying to get his mind back into a better spot, you know, and I'll, I'll talk about that later too. But right now we're just going over me <laughs> and the withdrawals, like... You know, and another thing, like most people don't eat when they're going through withdrawals, you know. That's all I'm doing, you know, to like stay awake or to keep my hands busy, you know, or to have my thoughts on something else if I'm cooking, you know, even if I eat it or not. But right then, you're like, you know, it, it'll end up getting eaten, but not right then. Like, you know, it takes me a while. Because all I was doing was just trying to get my mind off of how I was feeling, you know, and it doesn't last long because withdrawals are withdrawals, you know, like you feel like so fucking sick, like you're like you have a flu or something like and it's like I don't have the fucking flu. I just don't have this particular medication that I know as soon as I get this particular medication, I will be fine again. So that's kind of like. It makes you wonder, like, you know, you can be like, fuck medication, fuck prescription pills, you know. But at the same time, are they helpful? Is it all in your head? Is it all in my head that I need them? You know, because I've done trial and error so many times um, with myself and medication that I feel like a part of me will actually need some type of extra chemical to help with the balance in my brain. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Like, because your brain has a lot to do with how you feel and how you feel has a lot to do with your brain. Like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of feeling for thought, thought for feeling thing. Um, and if you can't focus, you can't, you just feel like you can't fucking function, like you just want to shut down, you know, kind of like in a robotic state, you know, and you notice the difference in yourself when you're on the medication and when you're off the medication, you know, and you have to just conclude if you are having withdrawal symptoms from just your thoughts or you have a withdrawal symptoms from not having the medication that your body may need um, to help you feel better, to help you maintain, to help you have a better flow in your head that will help you um, stay afloat. Just a second guys, you can go out of here. I'm Mommy. not gonna ask you, okay? Mommy. Get out of here. Mommy, wait. He's going to make him get upset with him because he's playing and he's, his attitude this morning, I'm not trying to deal with it because I'm trying to, um, do this video, you know, and it's, it's hard enough to talk now. Like my words don't want to come out when I'm trying to vocalize, you know, and it's like, they're all there, but 